what is going on YouTube it's your boy Billy Kibaki and in today's video I'll be showing you how to play PSP games on your jailbroken PS4 using the Linux OS on your PS4 guys um, keep in mind that I made a video how to install Linux on your PS4 so if you haven't done this before go ahead and watch this video the link for it will be in the description so make sure you guys read through the description also guys that you will need your hard drive with your Linux operating system on it you will need a USB mouse a USB keyboard and also a USB hub to work on your PS4 okay and also you will need your PSP ISOs okay so let's go ahead now and get started so right here guys here is my PSP ISO half minute hero and as you can see my USB stick is in FAT32 format okay so once you have your PSP ISOs on your FAT32 um, USB stick let's go ahead and head over to the PS4 now okay guys so I forgot to mention something and that is doing this method with the Linux OS on your jailbroken PS4 it makes the PSP games a lot more playable the first method I did was converting the ISO to work with the PS4 but not all games were compatible doing that method but with this method majority of the game like 99% of the games are playable with the PS4 okay so doing this is really a great thing to have on your PS4 okay so let's head over to the PS4 internet browser and guys you want to make sure that you type the same exact URL right there that's the URL you should type make sure it has VRAM 3 at the end what this does it will make the PS4 use more RAM to play the games a lot more better so your so your GameCube games, Nintendo 64, PS1, PSP, Steam games, all of them will play a lot better if you have the v, VRAM 3 at the end. Okay, so go ahead now and press R2 to load the page. Press yes. okay guys so as you can see the Linux loads up perfect on our PS4 so what we can do now is use our mouse go over to this icon right here left click and as you can see we don't have a full menu so what we need to do to fix this is go to your JWM config and then sometime this will be enabled sometimes it will be disabled so what you have to do is just click on it then wait a second press ok the ps4 will um, go dark and then it will refresh itself okay so as you can see the ps4 just refresh itself and now we can have access to these um, icon right here also we now have a full menu so let's go ahead and get started now so go to file management file manager sorry file manager right here then go to your your portable um, USB stick right here this is mine so mine is called PS2 so I'm just gonna click it and this is my PSP game half minute hero right click copy go back to home folder go to ROMs inside the ROM folder right click create a new folder so we're gonna call this folder PSP games alright go ahead and press OK then go inside PSP games and 
paste your PSP ISOs right there. Okay, now we can close this down. Go back over to the icon right here. Go to the games. Go down to PSP. Then the emulator will load right up. Then go to ROMs. Go to PSP games, the one that we just created. And the game was right there. I accidentally double clicked on it, but the game is right there. Okay, let me close that down and show you guys again. So go back right here, games, PSP, emulator loads up, and as you can see, it's in the recent section. So I'm just going to click on game right here. Yeah, let's start from right here. Go to ROMs, PSP games, and there it is. Okay, so you can add as much as game, as much, as many games as you want. Okay, let me just turn the volume down. Okay guys, so to full screen the game, all you have to do is go over here. And that's it, the game has now been full screen. Make sure that your PS4 controller is connected with the USB cable then you can go ahead and press X and we can now start playing the game so guys if this tutorial was helpful please give it a like also share the video around and also you can subscribe for more video to come about this emulator on the PS4 okay so thank you all for watching I will see you guys in my next video